Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin and this is Full Purpose and Heart. If you are new here, you're welcome to join in our journey and subscribe. This is my Our Homeschool Life series and I have done this for a couple of years now where every so often I update the world on how our homeschool life is going here on our side of the mountain. So this is going to be my second update video. We've had a couple more weeks of school since my first video and I just wanted to update y'all on how it went. So let's go ahead and get Get started. All right, so we have officially finished five weeks of school now. Um, two of them were homeschool weeks, and then one of them was um, a summer camp that was being done at the aquarium in our area. So I counted that as a school week because, of course, he was learning all kinds of good stuff about science, and so, um, but it wasn't actually done in our home. So let's talk a little bit about these last couple of weeks. So we had the first week of school, which was super successful. Many of you watched that video and you know I was really excited and, and I still really am excited. I have loved homeschool. It's become something that I've just really um, enjoyed. And so these last couple of weeks were no different, but um, the look of our homeschool was extremely different than what I had planned it to be and what I set out for and what I what I always think our homeschool is gonna look like. So um, what had happened is we did our first week and it was great and then our second week, I was hosting a summer camp in my home for my younger daughter and so we had a bunch of three to five year olds over at our home and my six year old, he just turned seven, I was expecting him to keep doing his math and his English work, um, which was relatively successful. We did get through all of his math uh, or excuse me, all of his English curriculum, because again, it's on the computer and he enjoys it. He doesn't mind listening to the lessons. They're very, very short. And then the um, assignment that goes along with the lesson is is very doable. Um, so that was really successful. And then his math was a little touch and go, um, but I ended up that I just kind of consolidated three or four lessons worth of material into about two days. So uh, where there was repeat activities, we kind of just crossed them off here and there and did a few acti few of the word problems or the uh, math problems instead of doing the full lesson. So um, just kind of as a reminder for those of you who are either new to homeschooling or even if you're veterans, a reminder is never a bad thing that you don't want to be a slave to your curriculum. You don't want to feel like you're falling behind. It's okay to consolidate. It's okay to manage it so that it fits your schedule and it fits your life. So uh, we did do that and that worked really, really great. Now for my younger student, she wasn't doing any of her preschool work. Even though she did ask me when I was spending some time with my second grader, I was like, no, you've had plenty of of schooling time um, in her summer camp as we did crafts and activities and we were doing all kinds of fun things. So anyway, that was kind of an off week. And then the next week was a very spontaneous off week because we ended up taking our family to Disneyland, which was unplanned. But if you are, if you have your pulse on Disneyland at all, then you'll know that the summer season has been unprecedentedly slow and uh, we were feeling a lot of FOMO. So we're like, ah, we're going to miss out on this really great summer crowd and all of the fun summer activities. We almost always go to Disneyland when it's the fall or the winter seasons because the crowds are a lot more manageable. So it's been, gosh, several decades since I've been and we went to Disneyland and enjoyed that. Um, we didn't take school with us, but I did like, to, I'd like to say that we did a little bit of schooling um, because we talked about measurements and how tall you needed to be and um, to ride certain rides. My daughter, my second child, just barely hit the 40 inch mark. So she got to ride some new rides. Uh, we talked about What's it called? Um, anyway, how when we go down the like Splash Mountain, we're not going to fall out. We talked about mass. So um, it was not a normal school week, but we did include some schooling type themes here and there. Um, we talked about money and if and that it's expensive and you have to, you know, excuse me, use your money wisely. Anyway, so it was definitely not a week where we were in the books, um, but it was kind of a fun experience week. And although I wouldn't say we went there and then intentionally did school, um, a lot of you out there are kind of of the gentle uh, unschooling mindset. And it was definitely that. And it felt really natural and it felt really good. So 
that was an unplanned school week, but it worked out. And then this last week, as I mentioned, was our aquarium camp and my daughter had her swimming lessons. So we didn't actually hit our lessons, like our curriculum lessons, but we did do some practice. Um, just kind of a fun idea for you when we were driving both to and from our various places. I felt like I was in the car a lot as I was being the mommy pool. And um, we came up with a game that my kids enjoyed playing. And I, there's no name for it, but it's like a noun verb game. Uh, so on the mo movie Winnie the Pooh, if you've ever seen it, um, they have Winnie the Pooh plays the say what you see game when they're on the train. And my kids picked up on that. And so we were playing say what you see using nouns and verbs. And so we would look out the window and we would say a noun that we can see. And then we would look for verbs. And we were talking about, um, in our classroom, we we're talking about what a verb is, that it's something, some, it is an action that someone or something does. And so we were looking around to see if we could find verbs. And then we would say the sentence and identify the verb. It was a fun game and it worked out. So we saw someone riding a bike and we'd be like, he rides a bike. Or um, we would see like a construction worker and we would talk about the construction worker was drilling or the flag waves or anyway, different things like that. And we just kind of made a game out of it and we did that a couple of times so that was a really fun kind of different way to integrate a little bit of english into our driving instead of just you know driving with a movie on or something like that which tends to be the case on some occasions especially at the end of the week when i was feeling really burnt out from the whole week's um, camp and driving and everything that was happening that week so anyway that's where we ended off at the end of our week so we really had three weeks of unschooling <laughs> and uh, and it was fun and it was casual, but I do find that I'm really excited and anxious to jump back into our um, more scheduled, I guess you could say lesson time. Um, the schools in our area are beginning to get ready to start school. So that helps too in kind of the idea of a school season starting. And um, we don't have any plans to be going anywhere for the foreseeable future. So it'll be nice just to be able to be back into our routine of our school day. So um, anyway, those are the few things that I have. I, again, we did unschooling, so I don't have any other tips or tricks, but you can check back in my first video. And um, I'm also also going to be doing some ideas of what we did our first week of school as a separate video in case you missed that so you can get some ideas because a lot of us are going to be starting our first week of school so anyway thanks so much for checking in on me on this video and we will catch you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.